it got heated last night. I don't know how this started, but the boy, Paulie, would you check, you and McLovin, can you check your phones, your text messages last night? Because, and I agree with Seton, it felt like it was McLovin and Paulie who were having an exchange last night talking about Adrian Peterson. The greatness of Adrian Peterson. And then Paulie all of a sudden comes in with a left hook and he brings up the name Tiki Barber. I had a couple of beers in me and I was cruising pro football reference looking at Adrian Peterson's career stats. Next thing you know, I text you guys, top of your head, better career, no, I know. Adrian Peterson or Tiki Barber? And I think, what's everyone's instant reaction? Peterson. He's a surefire Hall of Famer. Right. If Tiki Barber had played, played well on the team that won the Super Bowl, he'd be in the Hall of Fame. He did make a Super Bowl, though, Tiki Barber in his career. He lost it, but yeah. he, he appeared in one. But if he was in that Super Bowl, won that Super Bowl, played well in that Super Bowl, had a good season, I think he'd be a Hall of Famer. And he, on the pace he was at, Tiki Barber, his last few years, he was averaging about 1,500 yards a, year, a game, 1,500 yards a season his last mm-hmm. four years. He finished with 10-5. Okay. Paulie says you would take a, uh, Tiki Barber over Adrian Peterson. I don't know if I'd take it over. But no, I, no, 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 no. No, you can't I make think the argument you did last night, and then all of a sudden— you're walking back here. I think they're equal, or Tiki Barber is better. I don't think Tiki Barber's career is worse than Adrian Peterson's. Okay, so you take Tiki Barber. I think I would. Okay. That's a Fritzy answer right there. It was. What was it that? was. That was right out of my playbook. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'll make the case for Tiki Barber. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. And then, McLovin, if you want to make the case for Adrian Peterson, because we were innocent bystanders. I didn't even say a word except for save it for today's show. Adrian Peterson's career, 11 seasons, 11,765 yards, averages 4.9 yards a carry, 241 catches. He has missed 37 games in his career due to injury or suspension, led the league in rushing three times, led the league in yards from scrimmage twice. Seasons with more than 1,500 yards for Adrian Peterson, two. He also appeared in five playoff games, never played in the Super Bowl. Tiki Barber, 10 seasons, 10,500 rushing yards, averaging 4.7 yards a carry. 586 receptions, 350 more receptions than Adrian Peterson. He missed only six games in his career due to injury. He led the league's he uh, led the league in yards from scrimmage twice, same as Peterson. Seasons with 1,500 or more yards, three to Peterson's two. He played in five playoff games, appeared in a Super Bowl. The reason you don't pick Tiki Barber is because he was not a star running back in college, and he had a very slow start to his career. His first three years, he was a third down back. And he couldn't hang on to the ball. Right. But his last five years are as good as almost any running back of all time for a five-year stretch. Okay. McLovin? Well, obviously, Peterson is better, just because anybody who's ever watched a football game realizes that. Okay. Ignore those stats. Um, Peterson I don't know if won, that's a stat. But... Peterson won the MVP. Yeah. Uh, Peterson is fourth all-time in yards per game. Behind, right behind Terrell Davis, Barry Sanders, and Jim Brown, Tiki Barber is not in the top. He's not in the top fifty. Uh, I, I, Tiki Barber was very versatile, great player, but Peterson, in the time, an era of passing, is the lone running back too. I think you got to judge that for him. He's the only star running back in a sport that is designed for passing, and it was unbelievable what he did. He's sort of the last. He's he's a, he's a dinosaur of sorts at age thirty two. Tiki's a better all-around player, and and got well, wait, better. What do you mean by that? I, I better all-around player means you would want him on your team more than Adrian. No, no. I it depends on what I'm using Adrian Peterson for. If I have guys who can do the other things that Tiki did, catching the ball out of the backfield, Peterson is as good a runner as we've seen. Right? You'd say that He'd, he's as good as anybody we've seen in, right in in the last generation here. But Tiki got better. Tiki improved. Um, it just he retired a year too soon, I think, for the Hall of Fame. And I don't know if it mattered to him. I don't know if he thought at the time, hey, if I retire and I go into broadcasting, I'm going to give up the Hall of Fame. He might have thought he had enough of a resume in playing with the Giants. But if you win a Super Bowl with the Giants, it's like Eli Manning is going to be a Hall of Famer. He won two Super Bowls with the Giants, beat the Patriots in the process, and was the MVP. Tiki Barber, if they won a Super Bowl and he played well, I think he'd be a Hall of Famer. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.